Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, November the 9th. It's the 22nd week after Pentecost, and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. Please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Alleluia. Psalm 81. Please recite it with me. Alleluia. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Take a psalm and sound the cymbal, the pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. And God ordained in Joseph a testimony when he went out through the land of Egypt, where I heard an unfamiliar voice say, I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. You called in trouble, and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will testify to you, O Israel, if you will listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you, neither shall you worship any strange God. For I am Yahweh, your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people would not listen to my voice, and Israel would not obey me. So I gave them up to their own heart's lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had listened to me and walked in my ways! I would have quickly subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. The God-haters should have submitted to me, but their punishment will endure forever. I would have fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey out of the rock. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing aloud to God our strength. Make a joyful noise to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus, and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told this parable, Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he, founds, finds, when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my lost sheep. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For all who are sick, especially Joe, Ray, Adlin, Wendell, Julie, Missy, Andre, and Peter. For all who are battling cancer. For the aged and the infirm, and those suffering from dementia. For Bill, and for all who are struggling with addiction, that all they may find, uh, they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted, for refugees, 
that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who've died, especially Margaret and Lloyd and Tom, that together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For all who serve in harm's way, and for the victims of terrorism and violence. For all who are impacted by severe weather around the world, and for the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Be quick to come to our aid, O God, and let us never forget you. You are our God, and we are your people forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.